Hi, so here we've got another integral that you might like to try. It's the integral of sine squared 2x plus sine 4x, all divided by the square root of 1 minus cos squared 2x. And that's integrated with respect to x. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a few moments to pause the video. When you come back, either fast forward to check out your solution, or I'll take you slowly through that solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So uh, don't forget, you might want to fast forward then just to check out your solution. Now, if you've got something like this, what I notice is that it's got the sine 2x in or the angle 2x in, in a couple of places here. And that makes me think we could reduce this down to something involving 2x. And I notice that sine 4x, that looks familiar. We can think of this as the double angle formula. Let me just remind you, okay, on this, okay? The double angle formula, sine 2a, you remember, is identical to 2 sine a cosine a. Generally find this in your formula books if you don't know it already. So I could pick up on this, replacing the a with 2x, that would mean sine 4x would be identical to 2 sine 2x cosine 2x. And I also notice that in the denominator here, 1 minus cos squared of an angle can be expressed as sine squared of that angle. Remember this identity, should be familiar with it. Sine squared of an angle plus cos squared of the same angle is identical to 1. So if you rearrange this, 1 minus cos squared of a, for instance, is identical to sine squared a. My a is the 2x. So I can rewrite the denominator as the square root of sine squared 2x. So if we put those in and rewrite that integral, this is what you're going to get. Okay, sine squared 2x, the first term. I've written sine 4x as 2 sine 2x cos 2x, all over the square root of sine squared 2x. And if we take the square root of sine squared 2x, well, that's going to be sine 2x. So I've written it in the denominator again here. Now, do you notice that I can divide both top and bottom by sine 2x, or take sine 2x out as a common factor and then divide through? Either way, I'm going to get this result. The integral of sine 2x plus 2 cos 2x. Those sine 2x is cancelling, okay? Now, it's easy to integrate this. We should be familiar with these results, standard integrals, okay? So if you integrate, you should find for sine 2x, you get minus a half cos 2x, and for 2 cos 2x, you get sine 2x. And then you've got the constant of integration plus c. Now, that's the answer, but I don't like fractions uh, in an answer over one term here. And I don't like starting it with a negative. So personally, I would rewrite this in this form. I'd pull out half, and then for this term, it becomes 2 sine 2x, there we go. And for this last term, I've got minus cosine 2x, okay, to give me this first term. So there we go. Hope you're able to get that. Well done if you did. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like this, do give us a like and you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get updates of any new videos that I put up. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye for now.